نسلكم جميعا الجالية السودانية القادمة من جنوب دارفور إلى ولاية شمال بحر The number mainly women and children have been here for weeks without proper food and shelter. As the government of Northern Baragazal State takes this bold step, more and more are still coming and need food. Governor Tonga Kengor encouraged those who have arrived not to fear, saying the government of South Sudan was with them. الرئيس والمؤسسة الرئاسة من جمهورية جنوب السودان شافوكم وهما قلوب معاكم وإن شاء الله كل المهنة الناس فيها دي هتتحلى إن شاء الله بأسرة فرصة إن شاء الله أنتم هتكون الناس قاعدين في حتة أمين وفي أمان Mainly those returning and those seeking safety say many of them were forced to leave their beloved ones behind. Children and families have been separated as the fighting forces many in thousands to travel miles into South Sudan. <laughs> According to the chairperson of Relief and Rehabilitation Commission in Northern Bargazal State, Honorable Dut Majokdit, the state government is overwhelmed with the number and plans are underway to relocate the returnees to their respective states and areas. We will be relocating these people from here because uh, this is the border side and it is not suitable for these people to be here uh, because if the rain comes, uh, this place will be inaccessible. Uh, we, will, we will relocate them as soon as possible and we will integrate the returnees uh, to their respective counties. The assistance delivered by the state government is said is just a drop in an ocean. Already concerns over health issues are gradually increasing as new arrivals are making into South Sudan, stabbed into a critical point. Uh, these people that you have seen here are very many, but the condition, the situation, health situation is very concerned. Uh, there is a problem of uh, water. Uh, I talked about it last time, and the water became a very big challenge. When I went to Mojong Yinkyo, uh, we appeared also some challenges. When a woman came uh, from Sudan, uh, 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 from Sudan, uh, the place called, uh, uh, called Meram. So when he, she came with her kids, uh, the small food that they have got finished. And she decided uh, to sit under the tree with her kids, and the people were not there. So the woman uh, was not unable, was unable to move. And as a result, uh, it was actually people rushed to get there in a very bad condition. 